You want to cook the mac and cheese? Cook the mac and cheese for Mr. Cheese. Mac and cheese. That's right. Mac and cheese, Mr. Cheesy. We are going to make some cheeseburger macaroni casserole. It is going to be delicious. First, start out with the hamburger meat. Now, when I'm making ground meat and not burgers or something where I want the fat on there and I'm going to drain all the fat off, I like to cook my hamburger in water. Now, what I'm going to do is just get however much water, break up the hamburger inside of it, put it on the back burner, put it on a medium to a medium high heat, and it will pretty much take care of itself. The water will help break apart the hamburger meat. And since you're going to drain off all the fat anyway, it works pretty good. Now, go ahead, grab a big pan, get some water in it there. We're going to have that ready for the macaroni. Okay, next grab a saucepan a skillet. Now, three tablespoons of butter. We're going to make a roux here. Now remember, equal amounts of flour per oil or butter here. Um, you could use oil or something, butter I think tastes a whole lot better. So that's what we're going to use. Now, I'm going to speed up the tape here, but essentially you're going to let this get melted. Now remember, don't crank the heat too high. We don't want to burn our butter. We just want it thoroughly melted. I'm going to take a tiny bit of this and grease a 9 by 13 baking dish. Now you could just use some spray or something if you want to, but since I got the butter there, I just figured why not. Now, here's the three tablespoons of flour. Now, I should have used a pan that I could use a whisk on instead of the spatula. This is going to slow me down, so forgive me a little bit. But essentially what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to keep breaking apart the flour as you go along. The butter is going to cook with the flour, and it's going to break down the structure of the flour. So that way, once we add the liquids... You're not going to get that flour taste. You're not going to have those lumps. It's going to be able to break down and dissolve. So let's add a little bit of seasoning here. Okay, some onion salt or onion powder, whatever you want there. Okay, I like the paprika with a smoky flavor. And this is all just, you know, freelance measurements. We'll just consider that about a teaspoon each. Okay, and stir that in there. Now... Here comes the part with the milk or the dairy. Um, using 2% here. Now you can use half and half or whole milk if you want a little bit more of a fat content or a richer macaroni and cheese here. Now slowly add this. Now keep on pressing down on the flour or whisk. Make sure that it breaks down as you're stirring and only add a little bit of milk at a time. Just real gradual like, okay? And keep on stirring, keep on whisking, whatever you're going to do. Make sure that that uh, flour integrates there. Okay, I'm going to speed this up now. Just keep this on like a medium to a medium high heat and keep on going. Now, I'm going to be really careful here um, with the whisk here in a moment, I think. Yeah, okay, let me put that spatula down. Add the pasta to the water. We're going to boil that here in just a couple of minutes here. So go ahead and keep on breaking down that flour. Uh, turn the heat up just a little bit. We're going to get it to a boiling point here pretty soon. There we go. Let's do the whisk here. I'm just going to be really careful not to scratch my pan. And turn it up just a little bit more, medium high. Get a good boil going on. Now we're going to add the cheese. I'm adding four cups of shredded cheddar. White cheddar and yellow cheddar mixed. Okay. Now just keep on slowly adding it. There we go. A little bit at a time. Pull it in. Keep on stirring. And you have your cheese sauce. Very delicious. There we go. Scrape it. Now, I'm going to crank the heat up on that pasta. Drain the hamburger meat. Get it ready. Once it's boiling and you cooked it, per the temp on the package. Drain. Then, add your cheese sauce and hamburger meat. 
I'm just going to fold the hamburger meat into the cheese sauce before I add it to the noodles, but it really doesn't matter which order you cook it in or add it in. There we go. Let me go ahead and scrape all that delicious goodness in there. And voila, you could actually just stir this and eat this as it is right now. Um, but that oven is going to give it a good flavor and we're going to add a couple other things you'll see here in just a moment. Okay, let's take that to the side, get the baking dish. Now, add all the macaroni from the pan into the baking dish. Okay, waste not, want not. Unless you're wanting to snack on some before the kids and the wife actually get a chance to eat and you're real hungry. Other than that, make sure it all gets in the dish. Spread it out evenly. Get it in all four corners there. Next, more cheese, because who doesn't like more cheese? Mr. Cheesy would be proud. There we go. Lots of cheese all over the place. Now, with oven-baked macaroni, I like to add breadcrumbs on top. Now, I'm just going to do it straight out of the can, but you can uh, do your own. You can cook it with some butter and a little bit of seasoning if you like, but I'm just going to go straight from the can there. Okay, perfect. Now, grab some oven mitts into the oven, 350 degrees for 45 minutes. Pull it out and going to cook me a little bit just for myself cut it there oh look at that I'm gonna pull it up where you can see see there we go very nice okay now a little taste because that chef's privilege Ooh, hot hot Mac and cheese. Oh, I'm hungry.